Hey photographers, when I reviewed the Nikon D850, there was a feature I wasn't able to include and it's been on my mind ever since. Here in Live View on the I menu is an option called Negative Digitizer. Now it requires a Nikon part, the ES2 digitizing adapter, which wasn't yet available. Every few months I've continued to follow up and now my persistence has paid off. Here it is. This accessory enables you to digitize either slides or negatives. Now, it's not much. A couple of adapters and a holder for slides and negative film. Now, it works with either the 40mm or the 60mm lenses. This is the AFS Micro 60mm f2.8. Now, while this is a great step, for those who have slides and negatives, they want to convert to digital files. It's far from a complete solution. This has been a journey of discovery, figuring out the how and what of creating digital images from film negatives. And the whole story extends beyond those with D850s. Now, let's start with the tools that are essential to the process. White gloves, a blower, and compressed air is very useful and a new microfiber cleaning cloth from the nice folks at Travel Nevada. Now, the camera should be mounted on a tripod and you'll need a light source. I'm using a small LED fixture set to 5200 Kelvin, a fairly neutral sunlight setting. And Nikon's instruction sheet doesn't really do much more than explain how to put the pieces together. The longer adapter creates a DX size image, the shorter is FX or full frame for the D850 screw the adapter onto the lens. Now let me start with some slides which have a positive image so they're a little easier. After cleaning them you'll want to be careful as the emulsion side of the film scratches easily. Put the slide in the holder and slide it into the adapter. I've set the maximum resolution RAW plus JPEG fine star. Let's get every detail we can. And a tip from Nikon, use electronic front curtain to reduce shutter shock. I'm shooting in live view mode, so I've closed the viewfinder to prevent light leaks. The meter set to matrix, white balance to auto. The barrel on the adapter can be moved in and out to position the slide to fill the frame. I'm leaving a little room on the edges. And rotate so that the image is level, an aspect where I'm still having trouble. Then focus using the expanded view tools to make sure it's spot on. A final level adjustment, and then snap. After a little trial and error and checking in with my experts, I'm shooting in aperture priority. I've chosen an f-stop that makes the lens work well at 5.6 and I've set the ISO to 100. It could be any reasonably low setting. With the camera on a tripod, the shutter speed doesn't really matter. After finalizing those settings, my images were slightly underexposed. I set the exposure compensation up slightly, but also kept my eye on the histogram. I made final adjustments in Lightroom to level, crop, white balance, and exposure. Uh, most of these images were taken in the 1970s with the Minolta T100. And thanks to the D850, after cropping, the final files are 30 to 35 megapixels. Now, there are many ways, including commercial providers, to scan slides, but these are the highest quality images that I've encountered, and they illustrate fairly clearly that in terms of detail and dynamic range, that the D850 sensor exceeds the capability of the Kodak Ektachrome film I was using. The adapter and, and this process for positive slides would work with any Nikon camera, well, <laughs> actually any camera with a macro lens and a 62mm filter diameter. So let's go on to negatives, where we actually get to use the negative digitizer setting. Now there's a different tray to put negatives, which are usually in a strip of four or five into the adapter. Again, cleaning is an essential first step, and aligning the strip in the tray is a little trickier. This is the negative. Now select the negative digitizer setting, and the image becomes positive expose and focus as before, but with this setting there's no histogram and to adjust the exposure a new brightness control is available. After a few trials I decided it was better to do exposure fine tuning in Lightroom. However there's a catch. When the digitizer is active the D850 can't save RAW or TIFF files. A specific picture control is used for this mode, the others can't be selected. And if the digitizer setting doesn't provide the results you want, you can, of course, shoot the negatives as is and use software on your computer. 
When shooting with the histogram, remember that it's now reversed. Blacks are on the right. So you may wish to expose to the left, slightly anyway. This was already a bright and snowy scene. Now, there are many tutorials to demonstrate how to do this in Lightroom and Photoshop. They essentially involve reversing the tone curve either as RGB or individual channels. Negatives always have an amber cast, which needs to be corrected. Start by setting the white balance, which in the absence of a color chart means selecting a white object in the image. You can try several to get close. Every slider and setting now does the opposite of what it does with a positive image, so this feels tricky, and it's going to be a bit finicky as you get closer to an image that pleases you. Comparing back to the image created with the negative digitizer setting, I think I prefer the digitizer, not just because it's way simpler. If you have lots of slides, you may prefer to use the Nikon camera control app and tethered shooting. The app has lots of settings, but Negative digitizer isn't one, so you'll be shooting negatives. I'm not sure why Lightroom doesn't have native support for converting negatives, and in general there are not a lot of resources to support the process. I did find a Lightroom plugin, Negative Lab Pro, that helps, but it requires about the same amount of work, however without the requirement to use the sliders in reverse. Now, the entire process is time-consuming and labor-intensive, and it would certainly be helpful to have more than one tray for negatives. Switching strips is tedious. That did turn into a little more than I expected, but I'm now much more prepared to convert the rest of my negatives. Thanks so much for watching. If you do have questions or comments, I enjoy interacting with you. So post your relevant questions and civil comments below. And if this video helps, please join me as a subscriber. Thanks.